Most entrepreneurs still don't know how to use AI to boost their business. But as the founder of an AI transformation company with clients from Microsoft, major hospitality groups, and global brands, I've helped dozens of businesses successfully integrate AI into their operations. And what I can tell you is that businesses with between five and 50 employees get the most transformation when they start thinking AI first. The biggest mistake I see entrepreneurs make is using AI as just another tool in their tech stack without rethinking their processes. Business owners think they need expensive AI tools or technical expertise to benefit from this shift. But the truth is, treating AI as separate tools instead of integrating it into your native systems means your work stays disconnected. You won't see productivity gains or profit with that approach. Here's a better strategy. It doesn't have to be a painful process. In fact, there are five simple ways you can do this right now. Do these by 2026 and your business will be cheaper to run and harder to beat. But first, check out the link in the description for 20 high impact AI first strategies and an exclusive lifetime discount on one of my favorite platforms for keeping your brain sharp in an AI powered world. Okay, number one, feedback mining. Use an AI tool like Notion together with ChatGBT to organize customer data in a way that signals where your bottlenecks live and how to fix them. For example, you could feed all your customer reviews from the past quarter into Notion. Then use ChatGBT or Notion AI, which runs on ChatGBT under the hood, to identify the top reoccurring customer complaints and suggest specific fixes for each one. When I did this in my own business, I discovered friction in client onboarding that was costing me 15% of potential revenue. AI revealed that some clients were sent booking links that didn't work. Let AI do the hard work of collecting and sorting customer feedback from your reviews, emails, support tickets, and social media. AI spots patterns and problems instantly, saving you hours of manual work. The AI ranks what's most important based on how customers feel or how often issues come up. This helps you make smarter decisions faster. And here's a bonus tip if scheduling is an issue. Build a custom scheduling agent using OpenAI's new agent kit. If this sounds complicated, it's not. In fact, you don't need any coding skills or technical know-how whatsoever. Just drag and drop the appropriate nodes, connect them with your prompts, and you're done. This lets you build AI agents that can handle complex scheduling tasks without you lifting a finger. Number two, inventory and operations management. This is something a lot of CEOs ask me for help with all the time. And it's a great fit here since we were just talking about OpenAI's agent kit. You should be using agentic AI in your business. That's just AI that can do things on your behalf. There are a few platforms that do this really well, but I'd recommend Lindy AI if you're a complete beginner. Set up a Lindy trigger to monitor inventory levels and automatically send Slack or WhatsApp alerts when stock dips below defined thresholds. This prevents your small business from running out of things and it automates reordering workflows without constant manual monitoring. But here's the best part. Lindy's no-code interface and pre-built templates allow small business owners or really anyone to deploy these automations in less than an hour. Plus, Lindy's free tier gives you up to 400 monthly automated tasks. I'm launching a complete beginner-friendly guide to Lindy on this channel next week, so if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to hit that notification bell. All right, AI for small business use case number three. Create an AI co-pilot for sales outreach. Use an AI automation platform like Clay alongside large language model templates to boost customer response rates without hiring more staff. As we know, sales are critical to any business. Here's what I mean. Use ChatGBT to generate personalized email outreach templates based on your ideal customer's pain points. Then automate the research phase by letting AI scan LinkedIn profiles and company websites to personalize each message. Clay tracks response rates and automatically tweaks your templates to improve performance over time. My clients see 30 to 40% higher response rates with this approach. Number four, and this one's my favorite, create a company brain to quickly search across internal documents. Stop re-answering the same questions. Instead, centralize all of your company data inside Notion. There are a lot of note-taking and collaboration tools that you could use, 
but don't waste your time. Notion is the best. You wanna bring all company data into Notion. So SOPs, employee onboarding, projects, financial reports, basically everything related to the business will live inside of your Notion workspace. Then the next time Karen has a question, instead of answering it for the 50th time, you can direct her to Notion's AI. The AI will find the relevant information within your company's workspace and summarize it for Karen in seconds. If the answer requires an actionable process, Notion will walk Karen through the necessary steps. Better still, Notion AI is now agentic, which, you guessed it, means it can do things for you. Want to build a content creator for your marketing department? Just click the Notion AI face in the bottom right corner of your screen and tell it what you want it to build. Done. I've found this especially useful for Notion formulas, which can get tricky. But there's an elephant in the room that we need to talk about. As AI tools and agents take on more tasks for us, it's really important that we continue to exercise our brains in meaningful ways. Early studies show excessive AI use can hurt our problem-solving abilities. That's why I've been using Brilliant for weekly brain training. Brilliant is an app that gives your mind a daily workout with interactive courses in data science, AI, programming, and so much more. You'll become a better thinker and problem solver one hands-on lesson at a time. My entire family now uses Brilliant on a regular basis. Doing one small lesson a day with Brilliant has actually made me a better problem solver. Think of it like going to the gym, but for your brain. Plus, if AI concepts still feel fuzzy, Brilliant helps you bridge the gap with step-by-step -step interactive lessons that build intuition first, then complexity. You're not memorizing terms. You're not passively watching videos. You're applying ideas through bite-sized challenges that make concepts click and stick. Do one lesson a day for a week and you'll notice faster problem solving, clearer mental models, and more confidence when using AI tools in real projects. Yeah, if you're up for the challenge, use my code brilliant.org forward slash AI optimist. To learn for free on Brilliant, use my link in the description or scan the QR code that's on screen. Brilliant also has given my viewers 20% off an annual premium subscription for life. That gives you unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. You can thank me later. Now on to business use case number five, use AI connectors. If you're already using an AI chatbot like ChatGPT, but you're not using connectors, then you're missing out on its full potential. Connectors let your AI access live data from other apps that you regularly use. My ChatGPT, for example, connects to my Google and Outlook calendars so that I can ask my ChatGPT voice assistant what's on my schedule for the day, and the AI will reply with upcoming meetings or appointments. I also have a scheduled task set up inside my ChatGPT so that each night the AI sends me my agenda for the next day. This way, I know exactly what meetings or speaking events are on deck. If you tried connectors in the past and didn't have a good experience, that's because they weren't fully integrated. But now with the rollout of ChatGPT 5, connectors actually work. To turn on connectors, just open ChatGPT in settings, tap connectors, and grant ChatGPT access to each of the apps that you normally use. One thing to keep in mind is that you shouldn't use connectors when using agent mode. This could open it up to attacks or data leakage. But that aside, it is transformational especially for business owners. Why? Because this transforms ChatGPT from a static chatbot into a dynamic assistant that can interact with your actual business and scheduling data in real time. Okay, we covered a lot of ground here, but I need your help choosing which AI for business processes I should cover in my upcoming videos. So tell me, what's one task in your business that you wish you could automate? Drop it in the comments and I'll tell you how to do it.